to how our governments are treating our citizens out there and what are they taking the hard-earned tax dollars and spending on. This one got my eye, and I thought, oh, I've got to ask Gerald about this. Our friends in Germany are spending their hard-earned Deutsche Marks, excuse me, Euros, uh, spending 50 billion euros economic stimulus package on supplies for armed forces, possibly including submachine guns, military vehicles, and underwater mine detectors. Wow, there's another brilliant plan, Gerald. Yeah, well, look, you know, back here in the States, you know, Obama, you know, the president of change we can believe in. Yeah, how about believing in this? He just increased our military budget by 4%. You know, so this is what they're doing. The military-industrial complex is still firmly in control, and there are no changes in sight. It's global. And, of course, we're very concerned that the military it, it may turn on its people in the United States as well, because we're forecasting riots in this country. A lot of people are very angry about what's going on. They're being taxed to death. And there's going to be a time in the not-too-distant future when you're going to see riots. Mm. As the credit crisis worsens here, you, you in the latest bulletin to your readers around the world said uh, draconian measures are coming. It sounds not only civil draconian, but how about economic draconian measures? What, 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 what do you think they've got up their sleeve, Gerald? Well, let's look again at uh, President Obama. Uh, they put the mantle of FDR on his shoulders. Let's remember what FDR did. Uh, when he became president, the Federal Emergency Banking Act, they called the bank holiday. I love the language, holiday. You can't get your money out. Yeah, yeah it's FDIC insured, but you just can't get it all at once. You can get it in dribs and drabs if you get it at all. And the other thing that they did was they confiscated the people's gold. And they sold it, made the people sell it back to the U.S. government for $20 an ounce. And then when they confiscated it, most of it, they then repegged the price because of those days, of course, the dollar was pegged by gold to $35 an ounce. So what in effect they did was devalued the dollar. So we expect there's going to be massive run on banks, and we expect bank holidays, bank closures, and runs on banks. And we're saying to people, do you know where your money is? Will you be able to get it when you need it? Speaking for myself, I keep as little in the banks as possible, and most, and most only to, to, for our business purposes. Well, how about pension plans? We talked about boomers earlier, Gerald. Uh, look what happened in Argentina. The government stepped up and said, oh, uh, your retirement funds, we're going to take care of those for you. Do you think that uh, we could see us dipping into your IRAs, or here in Canada, as we call them RRSPs? Yes, we can. They'll do anything. I mean, look. Read my lips, no new taxes. I didn't have sex with that woman, Monica Lewinsky. I smoked, but I didn't inhale. Saddam Hussein has weapons of mass destructions and ties to al-Qaeda. And then there's Obama. I'm going to bring the troops home. He used to say when he was campaigning, uh, as soon as he became president, now it's 19 months. Before it was 16 months. And, you know, so I don't believe the thing that they say and they're capable of doing anything. A thousand bases overseas uh, to hold American troops. Uh, is this at the end of an empire, perhaps, to use a sort of a, a big phrase, uh, do you think? Well, if you go back to our Trends Journal, the fall of 2002, the headline read, Empire America Fading Fast. Yeah, we think it's uh, this is the end of the American empire. We can see this country breaking up like the former Soviet Union did into uh, regions or even separate states. I mean, you know, you take a state like California, what is it, about the world's sixth largest GDP? And, and, and the federal government can't control this. I mean, look at the people in charge. I, I love it. They want you have bipartisan support. Oh, Pelosi, Frank, Bonner, Bond, McConnell, Shelby, Dodd. How about Laurel and Hardy and Abbott and Costello? There's not one thing the federal government could point to to show success. Gerald, uh, if uh, you will, allow me to do this. Uh, if you've got a question for Mr. Salenti, by the way, who's bombarded with questions through his office, I will try to uh, t keep up with them and pass along the germane ones to his office and his publicist, and maybe we can get some answers. Just send them to info at howstreet.com. Okay, we've hit the rocks. The ship's going down. What kind of lifeboat should we be looking for? Well, you know, that's a good question. And, and then remember, you know, when the ship is going down, there are lifeboats, there are life rafts, there are life preservers. And if you're lucky, if you miss those, you'll have a piece of debris to cling to. 
Um, there aren't going to be a lot of them. I'm a believer in gold. And we don't give investment advice. It's what I believe and what I do, and it's what I buy. I keep very little money in the banks, and I don't spend a dollar that I don't need to spend. I bought a new car last year, a 1994 Audi Cabriolet for $3,800 and put another or about 1500 to 2000 into it to bring it up to perfect shape. And, and it's a, you know, I, I have a classic, and it does everything I want. So I don't waste money. I don't buy what I don't need. North America is the only place in the, on the planet where people have so much junk, they put it in self-storage units. They put it off-site. So don't spend a penny that you don't have to. If you want to send your child to college, make sure you're sending them to a place where they're going to get a degree that's going to provide a return on investment. You know, the hard sciences. And, of course, if they're into the arts, you know, you, you, you want to continue to promote that because art is the way of finding the true meaning to the human spirit. And without art, I believe we're doomed. And when you look at what got us after the Black Plague and the, and the Dark Ages, it was a renaissance. Art was the, was the, was the driver that pushed society into a, and civilization into a new direction. And conservation engineers, any kind of job that can help save money, make money by using less and doing more, bringing in products from all over the world that will help in efficiency. And this is just the beginning of that. So any kind of jobs in that area. And on the softer ends, if you want to open up a coffee shop, open one up. Just because Starbucks is closing, it had more to do with predatory practices. But if you open up a place, make sure it has the best of the best. The best donut that you can get anywhere. The best crumb bun, crella, or, 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 or crepe. It, it, the people that are going to survive in this new climate, it's going to be the best of the best. And even at that, the business is going to be off. But if you're going to be, going to be average, you're going to go down with the rest of them. And if you're going to open up a restaurant, a little place, have the best steak sandwich, something at an affordable price. It has to be the best of the best. Life will go on, but you need to have quality and originality. Gerald Salante, founder of the Trends Research Institute. His team are waiting for you to visit at trendsresearch.com. As usual, thought-provoking and really trenchant stuff. Thank you so much, Gerald. Hey, thank you, Tom. Comments made.